when I started out, there was no formal aquaculture training. I mean, there was, but there it was very, very on a very small scale. So most of the jobs back then and still today are, you know, what you would think of as marine biology, freshwater biology, ecology, marine science, kind of down those kinds of fields. Today, many universities, they offer specific programs in aquaculture with all of those kinds of things. For somebody who wants to get a job in aquaculture, there's kind of like, I would say, two broad pathways. One is kind of from a technical standpoint, the biology, the chemistry, the, that kind of thing. And then there's a whole other segment that to me is, more, in my humble opinion, more challenging. But then you have people who are very interested in marketing seafood, finding new ways to process, package, market these products, which now involves a lot of aquaculture supply. So, and, and as I looked at, you know, what we should be thinking about, really, if you're gonna get in this business, you have to know both of those things. Because you may be the greatest production guy or woman and have all the insights on, you know, what makes this particular creature happy and grow fast and reproduce and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, somebody's gonna to have to sell this product into a market. But if you want to just get started in a business, it's going to take you, you know, to make a, a career out of it. Um, it starts with a business plan, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> and um, that's where a lot of the thinking goes in, you know, am I, do I have the background? Am I capable of doing this? Do I really understand this? And then, you know, the, there's the whole, there's a big financial piece because you're going to have to buy equipment. You're going to have to hire people. You have to pay electricity or whatever. The very best way to do it is consult with your local aquaculture association, state extension agents in a lot of coastal states and inland. They have aquaculture specialists and they can be a huge source of information. And I'm a big supporter of having a mentor. Find somebody who you think, you know, is a good role model, somebody you can confide in, confess to, trust. You know, these are my ideas. These are some of the things I've been thinking about. What do you think about this? When people ask you what you do, I'm an aqua farmer. I'm a shrimp farmer. I'm a fish farmer. That, that is so fun to say. <laughs> but, you know, that's not a reason to get into it, okay? But, you know, it's a, it's a new field. Oh, well, it's a relatively new field. And you've got so many, you know, like the mussel farmers in Maine and these trout farmers in Idaho and these tilapia farmers in Colombia. They have such great stories to tell about, you know, building their business, learning stuff. You know, there's the whole part of uh, we are providing the best protein there is on the planet. Okay, it's, it's different from a lot of the others, but the nutritionists will tell you this is what we should be eating, more and more of it. And so to be able to tell that kind of a story too, you know, we're, we're producing the best protein that's out there. We're learning how to do it more and more sustainably. Our carbon footprint is way smaller than most other industries. Our products are in demand worldwide. So, you know, that's a very satisfying picture to paint. So, yeah. That's what I want people to know about it. <laughs>